Steve here with Speed Kings. Today we're gonna go through a quickie for you. We're gonna install this little low profile license plate holder from Custom Dynamics. Pretty awesome, I like them, I run them. They don't lay exactly flat on your fender. They have a little tilt up, which I kinda like. They're nice and radius curved. They match their all-in-one license plate frames that you can get. Comes with all the hardware you need and a little gasket so you don't fuck up your fender. You can't beat this, 30 bucks. These things are built to last, they, they rock and roll. You'll love this product. So we're gonna start by removing our license plate right here which uh, my good friend Ryan has already done a good job of bending it up. <laughs> You're gonna have to take apart the assembly a little bit to get to this bottom screw. So you'll basically have to remove this nut right here to kind of open it up. It's a two-piece design. Get this out of our way. And then from there, we'll start working under the bike. So go ahead and just reach up in here and get these uh, three nuts off these screws. We'll pop this whole bracket off. Cool. Boop. So we're gonna go ahead and get our new assembly on. We have this nice little rubber gasket right here we throw in the back. That way it doesn't scratch up the bike. We'll place our one screw through right here. We'll kind of go through, line it up, and put it through the first hole. So now we kind of sort of have it in its location. We'll get the other couple screws lined up. Boom. While still holding it, grab one of the supplied nylock nuts, reach underneath. We'll go ahead and put one on. We can just start by going finger tight. Start the other two. So we'll go ahead and put our last uh, nylock on, get it started. Now the one thing that Custom Dynamics has done for us, they switched from standard tools to metric tools. So we have to get our metric tools out now to finish the job. Now we got our Allen wrench and our ratchet. We're gonna go ahead and tighten everything up. As you tighten it up, just make sure to check your straightness. It does have a little play in the holes, so it will move on you. Tighten up this last one. So now at this point, we go ahead and throw our license plate back on. We had to add a couple of washers because our license plate holes are a little larger than the screws, but you won't run into this issue with your standard license plate. And there we have it. Custom Dynamics low profile lay down license plate frame. We really like the way these things clean up the ass in, come with all the hardware that you need, very simple installation, and just overall good product. They're available in chrome and black finishes, and you can find both of those at www.speed-kingcycle.com.